Hi everyone, welcome to MAB. My name is Meghna Chatterjee and I'm a UX researcher here at MathWorks. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the MATLAB function block feature, which allows you to define custom functionality in Simulink models by using the MATLAB language. In this video, we'll explore the components of the toolstrip for the MATLAB function block editor and navigate some common workflows to demonstrate the new integration of the MATLAB function block editor within Simulink, a change that's coming in release 2021b. Let's start by taking a quick look at the MATLAB function block as it has appeared thus far. After placing a MATLAB function block inside your model, you can double click it to access its code editor. This will open up inside a MATLAB editor window with the toolstrip updating to have additional controls specific to the MATLAB function block. The Run section has controls related to Simulink simulation. After selecting the option to set a breakpoint and placing it on a line, when the simulation is run, these options here will change into debugging controls for MATLAB code. For example, stepping in and out of functions, or stepping to the next section of code. Within the Simulink section are controls for modifying block arguments, navigating to the model, and more. We'll revisit these controls when we walk through the updated version of the MATLAB function block editor. As mentioned, for the 2021b release, the function block editor will be fully integrated within Simulink itself. This means that you will now be able to access the editor and write code without having to leave Simulink and switch between windows. This change comes with a new contextual toolstrip that has a combination of both Simulink and MATLAB editor controls. Moreover, users will now have access to other Simulink tabs and features while inside the function block editor itself. Let's take a look at these changes in more detail. First, by opening the editor as a new window or as a new tab, we can easily navigate back and forth between the Simulink model canvas and the MATLAB function block editor. By default, the editor opens within the same window. Previously, the Go To Diagram option or Switching Windows would return you to the model. While inside the editor, you have access to the Function Toolstrip, which retains the functionality of the editor as previously seen inside MATLAB with some modifications. The Ports and Data Manager, previously accessed through the Edit Data option, allows you to add or modify arguments for the function block. The MATLAB Function Report, previously accessed through the View Report button, opens a report that details type information for the variables and expressions in your functions. The Navigate and Code sections of the toolstrip correspond to the Navigate and Edit components of the MATLAB toolstrip. In the Integrated Editor, you can also use the Refactor button to convert a section of code into either a local function within the same code or as a MATLAB function saved in the current directory. Moving on in the toolstrip, you can use the Update Model button inside the Compile section to quickly compile the model or refresh any changes to the blocks. These options were previously under the Build submenu. Next, the simulation and debugging controls have been separated into their own sections on this toolstrip. Breakpoints can now be set much more easily by simply clicking on a line number. After selecting Run, the simulation stops at the breakpoint, and you can use the same debugging controls as we saw in the MATLAB editor to step in and out of any functions or step over to the next part of the code. Now, because the new MATLAB function block editor is fully integrated within Simulink, it works and coexists successfully with Simulink features. Let's explore this by using a more complex function block code example. Suppose we want to generate C, C++ code for this model, and we're interested in traceability of the function block code. In other words, we're interested in navigating between a line of generated code 
and its corresponding line in the MATLAB function block code. Let's assume in this example that we have already generated C, C++ code using the Embedded Coder app. After the code has been generated, if we view the code and click a line inside our MATLAB function code, we see that the corresponding line in the generated code has been highlighted. Similarly, if we hover over one of the line numbers of the generated code in the code view, we see that the corresponding section in the MATLAB function block code has also been highlighted. So, just as within Simulink, we provide bidirectional visibility of the MATLAB code in the function block as well. With that, we've reached the end of the showcase demo for the integration of the MATLAB function block editor with Simulink. Please look forward to this feature and try it out when it releases in R2021B. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoy the other showcases and presentations at this year's MathWorks Advisory Board. Thank you.